Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to show you what you could expect from British Airways in economy class on their A350-1000 from Sao Paulo to Buenos Aires. Uh, economy class is called World Traveler in British Airways lingo. So it's the same thing. And there's a picture of the cabin because I accidentally deleted the footage when I usually walk in the cabin to show you um, the cabin from my point of view. So I apologize for that. Uh, you were left with a pillow and a blanket out here. Uh, this is about a two hour and 25 minute flight from San, uh, Buenos Aires to Sao Paulo. And let's take a detailed look at the seat here. As far as the legroom goes, it's pretty tight. Uh, pretty tight on the legroom. Um, I'm five foot 11 and luckily uh, I, I did have the road to myself, but if this plane is full, yeah, that could, this could be a very uncomfortable ride, especially if you're going on from Sao Paulo to London. Yeah, I couldn't, <laughs> yeah, that would be rough to say the least. That tray table was in my stomach um, fully, um, once it's fully uh, retracted back. You got a seat pocket there. You can put some things there or just leave, leave it for the safety information card. You do have a USB jack, headphone jack there uh, for the in-flight entertainment system, which is pretty good. They have a lot of selection of programs there. This aircraft does not have individual air nozzles. Keep that in mind. So you're at the mercy of the crew. And it also does, as you'll see me try to navigate my camera down in the tight uh, or lack of leg room. As you can see, there is a plug beneath you um, to plug a device in there. As you'll see shortly, there it is. So yeah, you got two plugs there uh, for the seats. But again, I had the road to myself, so I could make a Poor man's business class for the short flight up from uh, Buenos Aires to uh, San Paulo. And there's, like I say, you have a good view out of the window too. As you can see the wing and the Lufthansa 747. So I'm going to leave you with the takeoff and I'll be back shortly to talk about the rest of this flight. Welcome back. Let's look at the bathroom on the A350-1000. Uh, again, nothing nothing too special to get excited about here. Uh, it's a pretty standard laboratory. Uh, decent room. Um, I guess one thing I can say, the automatic um, I guess sensor on the on the uh, faucet there works pretty well. So that that's impressive. Not all of those work pretty well or work that well on the aircraft, but this one did. No window at the changing station, just a standard bathroom. I always like to show you that as far as the food went, um, no choice in food. So we were served a box there. If you have a sandwich, some kind of couscous dish, a bottle of water and a truffle there. And here's a more detailed look at the food. The couscous, actually I found that pretty good. The sandwich was okay. Uh, it was a ham and cheese sandwich. The, the truffle, that was the real start of the show. I've actually seen that truffle on Air, an Air Canada flight. In, going in between uh, San Paulo and Buenos Aires. As far as the in-flight entertainment goes, here's the headphones that are handed out. Just generic headphones. You're always better served to have your own for quality sound. So I'll kind of go through the in-flight entertainment system uh, as well as the map. So I'll let you take a look at that. And I will be back shortly to talk about the Wi-Fi.
right, so let's talk about the Wi-Fi. Uh, they did have Wi-Fi packages. It was available. Again, you see, on two hours and 12 minute flight. Um, so free Wi-Fi if you're flying in first class. This plane doesn't have first class, so no worries there. And I wasn't in first class, <laughs> even if they did have it, because my plan was to review the economy product. Um, they've got a bunch of information there about the entertainment, flight stats, There's some things you might want to know. But I mean, the Wi-Fi itself, I didn't purchase, but um, again, when you hit the packages, here you can see the price here for just messaging and the browse and stream prices. Um, so you had three pounds there, I think what, $8.99 to browse and stream for two hours and some change. So it, it might be worth it if you need to work or if you want to stay connected, but for me, not worth it on the uh, short flight up uh, to Sao Paulo. But, uh, Wanted to give you some of my final thoughts about this flight. Now, this was my first time flying British Airways, and I had a really good crew, uh, good banter with the crew, uh, very outgoing. I do like that in a crew. I'm, when it comes to service, I'm very easy to please. I think the more outgoing crews are ones I remember. I mean, other than that, unless something really bad happened, it's just kind of okay with me. I'm okay with either, but the things that do, that do stand out for me and as far as service goes for a flight is a crew that's outgoing and it kind of does more than just the bare minimum as far as talking to passengers and you can really tell they enjoy what they're doing i think that's important so uh as far as the food went uh, the food was okay again a boxed meal uh, it was probably the most generous offering though i've had on any one of these um Fifth Freedom flights I've had. I re recently re reviewed Turkish Airlines flight, um, which I'll put a link for that up in the uh, top there so you can see that and compare the two economy products to see which one you think is better. But um, me personally, I, I like this one better. A, the plane was clean. That's the number one thing. Um, again, the service was, was friendly, outgoing, and the, the flight attendants there, they really seemed like they wanted to be there so it's not a knock on Turkish Airlines but yeah, it's just what I observed in my experience so uh, again you do have Wi-Fi on this flight you saw the prices in-flight entertainment is good keep in mind the leg room is not that good so if you're taller uh, especially 5 foot 11 and taller and you're planning on taking this aircraft on a long-haul flight yeah that could be a problem if there's a lot of people uh, or somebody sitting next to you if the plane is full so uh, just something to keep in mind when on this aircraft in economy class. So that was my experience on British Airways Flight 246 from Buenos Aires to Sao Paulo in the A350-1000. Please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this with a friend. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time. There's a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best believe 
The other ring on my wrist is gold 